dark night, two girls found themselves in the wrong place at the right time, and I was about to get caught in a spider's web, a web of beautiful women, of high heels, leopard print, and murder. Someone once told me, Never get between a woman and her shoes. I should have listened. It's just that sometimes, a beautiful woman with a pair of heels is just too hard to resist. Guilty drink. Thank you. Get her a drink. What's the matter? I need to give you this. Just for a little while. Please, guard it with your life. I have to go. Wait. Some fashion really is to die for, especially when you share the same shoe size. It had been a rough night, but things were about to get a whole lot worse. Alan? Last night? Uh-huh. Bar. Murder weapon. A stiletto. I'll be right over. That's when a broken heart walked back into my life. Pandora. Is that you? Who else would it be, Detective? Step out of the shadows so I can take a better look at you. I don't have a lot of time. Do you have time for this? Never met anyone that looks so good from head to toe. When your hair is set and you're wearing fabulous shoes, you can get away with anything. Don't they teach you that at school, detective? But I had to keep my heel in the game. There was murder afoot. Looks like a 37 Italian. Uh, there are seven, sir. It's the same thing, boys. It's the same thing. Bourbon on the rocks. And I 
rough you I'd bring you to a shine Wine and dine, toe the line Be your valentine But only I can heal you Only I can heal your soul And when we dance all night Your drink, sir. Thanks. You here last night? Every night for the past 40 years. So, is she with anyone? <laughs> yeah, real beauty. Six inch heels, pink satin, pearls. Real classy. I struggle to stay sane. Sounds like she was handmade in Italy. Something still didn't make sense. What I needed was a motive and a pair of killer heels. Any insight on the case, detective? Apparently there's a woman on loose. They're calling her the Kitten Hill Killer. I was starting to lose my mind and possibly develop a shoe fetish at the same time. Now here was a dame who could stop time dead in its tracks. For a moment, I thought things were looking up. I should have known better. You're the detective, I assume. It's what it says on the door. Beautiful shoes. Where'd you get them? A friend. That's why I'm here. I think I'm being followed. What makes you say that? Just a pair of killer heels. You want to tell me what went on last night? A couple of drinks, some jazz, a little shoe business. Is that all? You know what they say, detective. The higher the heel, the, the better, better you feel. I've made a mistake. I shouldn't have come. Wait, you're hiding something. Put yourself in her shoes. When you want to reveal the truth, where'd you get those shoes? But she let her feet do the talking. And like that, she was gone. I lost her in the crowd. I went in head over heels, but the only thing I could find were shoes that didn't fit. And then it hit me. Something I'd seen in a past case. I had to get down to the station and check the files. Been a long time, detective. Dolly, pleasure as ever. I've got my dancing shoes on. You come to take me out? Not tonight, Dolly. Is Sarge around? She always has time for you. Those shoes really are made for dancing. got a hell of a nerve coming in here after what you did, Fallon. Well, Sarge, we got a Mary Jane Doe, a pair of heels, and no leads. <laughs> Sounds familiar. There's something about this, Sarge. It's on the tip of my toes. 
Just like you, Fallon, to get caught up with a couple of beautiful broads and their shoes. I'll check the files. Go on, then. Find what you needed. The shoes. They're a calling card. That's the funny thing about shoes, Fallon. They always come in pairs. That's when things became so clear. They were transparent. There's always something about women who dress from the feet up. But it was too late. I'd already been accessorized. And that's how I learned. Never get between a woman and her shoes. Shy. 